Happy evening. Hello. Let me adjust things. All right. Welcome to um, Sunday evening Facebook live with myself, Satu, about being perfect. None of us have ever really desired to be perfect at all, right? I was kind of laughing also when I was setting up this Facebook live because I was like, oh, the light is not quite perfect and now the camera it won't stay like straight, but it's getting a little bit crooked. It's not perfect. And then I was like, mm. and the topic of this Facebook live is being perfect. Um, so, yeah. And the funny thing that I am often seeing and have experienced myself too is this thing that we somehow think that we need to be perfect before we start something or for example before we take a class to learn something and my mom for example is an example of this she often had this thing of like um, she's like no 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 I cannot go and like go to that class to learn that thing because I don't know how to do it <laughs> sounds a little crazy to anyone and then maybe you notice yourself doing this too. And this is something that I also um, see a lot occur with some of the classes that I facilitate. For example, talk to the entities class. People say, I cannot come to this class because I don't see entities. Mm. <laughs> maybe the purpose of the class is so that you would learn how to deal with entities, how to see entities, how to perceive them. Same with the X-Men class. I don't have any superpowers, I don't know what this is, so I cannot come to the class. Yeah, the class is about fighting your superpowers. Um, the ones that you maybe don't know that you have. You probably don't know that you have, let's put it that way. And Simone Mila says, who, has, who was the Access um, Worldwide Coordinator for a long time, and she's uh, leading the Jaya business, thingy in access she also says that often people come to her and say that hey simone like i would love to take your business class the joy of business but i don't have joy with business so i cannot come yeah <laughs> the class is for finding the joy in business that's why the class is there so often we have this kind of weird idea of what class is about that class or going to learn something means that you have to already be perfect at it so that you can prove to others that you already can do it. Instead of going there vulnerably yourself and going, hey, I actually don't know how to do this thing, but I would like to learn. I would like to become creator. Sort of like if you were a master painter, would you go and take a painting class? Maybe not. So these classes, they are really not for those people who are perfect at something. They are for those people who are looking for something greater. So if you're looking to become greater at anything, that's when I would consider an access class. You don't have to know how to do something. And the whole point is that you can go there, not be judged at all. You can ask any kinds of questions you'd like so that you can get access to what you know or what you can, that maybe you Maybe nobody has ever shown you that you can. So let's also just get <laughs> some clearings about this whole perfection thing. So everywhere that you have decided that you have to be perfect before you do anything, will you destroy and ungrade that? Right or wrong, good and bad, but and on nature is poison beyond. And everywhere where you have decided that you have to be perfect before you can start anything, will you destroy and ungrade that? Out of wrong, good and bad, but and all, and I just place and beyond. And everywhere where you have decided that you have to be perfect at something before you learn that something, will you destroy and ingrate that? Out of wrong, good and bad, but and all, and I just place and beyond. A little bit of energy on those clearings. I think I have to yawn. <sighs> yeah. So what are all those things in your life? that you are not choosing and you're not even looking into because you think you're not perfect enough at them already? What would happen if you started looking into them and including them in your life? Because you can't really get good at anything if you don't bring it into your life and practice it. 
And this whole idea that you need to know how to do something before you learn to do it, it kind of should tell you that we're not very logical creatures. We think that it's somehow logical and that we're making a lot of logic in all kinds of things. But all those things where you're really stuck is pretty much where you're trying to make something logical that is not logical. So if you were not trying to be perfect and logical, what else could show up for you? What else could you choose? And that's the whole thing where we often use this thing of like, I'm not perfect enough. We just use that to avoid choosing things that we think we would like, but we're not really willing to choose. So is it really about being perfect or is it about something else? It's kind of the same thing with money as well. We often say that, yeah, I would, but I just don't have the money for it. Quite often in those cases, it's not really about you not having the money for it or you not being perfect enough, but you not being willing to choose the change that it would create. Because all those other things, money and everything else, learning the thing, they would come if you would choose it. So what are you using as an excuse for not choosing what you say that you would like? Would you really like it? Um, yeah. And the other funny story that I remember about this whole perfect thing and waiting for everything to sort of like align before we choose something is this uh, story of like traffic lights. If you start driving somewhere. Do you first wait for all the lights to be green? Or do you just start driving and then the lights will eventually turn green? So in how many areas and in how many things in your life are you waiting for things to get perfect? For everything to be in this like perfectly aligned and you see it from the beginning till the end before you say yes to it. And this is something that I have also seen countless of times with people choosing different access classes which for a lot of people they um, feel that they're very expensive they were very expensive for me too in the beginning before I started making more money with the tools of access that I got from those classes is that um, you don't choose it and you just wish that the money would show up and if the money did you would choose it but that is not how it works what you really have to do is to choose it first, then ask questions. What would it take for this to be possible for me? And then take the different steps that show up. When you see some light turn green, you drive. Um, and follow that energy of the creation. And I've seen it so many times when people go like, I'm taking this class, I'm doing this thing, I'm choosing this thing, no matter what. The weirdest things show up to make it possible for you. But it is about you choosing, not you being perfect or have everything set up or aligned or all the lights to be green before you can go for it. So yeah, what are you waiting for? And what if the time for waiting is over and now is the space for something different? This is also my invitation to some of the upcoming classes that I have in English. I don't often facilitate classes in English, but I do have in the beginning of February a talk to the end of this class, which is definitely not logical. You do really don't need to be able to see entities to come to that class. And then also um, in the middle of February, I have an X-Men class coming up also in English. And yes, you do not need to know what your superpowers are. To come to that class or even know what that class is about just follow the energy ask what will this create for me um, and if it's light well maybe you want to consider choosing it um, that's it for now and um, if you're not in the relaxing forward facebook group i do a weekly relaxing live there on every wednesday that is free to join um, you can find all these links on my website satulinkrent.com See you there and um, how much fun can we have not being perfect but actually being us. <laughs>